Hey everybody, Andy here, A.K. Montolio, and we're back for round two of a Vintage League. We are playing Holovine, and we're playing against Captain Planet. Last time I played them, probably a couple months ago, and they were on eight post. Let's see, one that I roll. It's a mulligan. There we go, that's a great hand. You really, uh, you hate to actually tap the bazaar in a situation like this, but obviously you do it. We won't be able to keep both Force of Vigor and Force of Will. Likely just hold up Force of Will here, and hopefully we can trigger the Venge of Mine here. That would be pretty solid. If we can't, it's a little bit unfortuitous, but... That's the world we live in. As I mentioned in the previous video, with Hollow Mine against the combo decks, you, uh, you have a pretty good matchup, and... You know, well, you typically have a pretty good matchup against most things if you can keep your seven. It's always a challenge when you have to mulligan, but this deck has all the tools to be able to fight combo on a fair axis. Um, four mind break traps, four force of wills, four force of negations. Uh, you got four force of vigors main deck. So Captain Planet has kept their seven. And we're looking for another hollow one or a root walla. And we hit, which is pretty great. Um, unfortunately, we have to get rid of a force of vigor. But very happy to be able to have uh, triggered our Benjamin here. Gives us a strong start. And hopefully we can find a green card off the top. Or a strip mine. Of course, it'll be contingent on what they do. Mox. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, wow. I would say that's pretty great. I'm not going to tap my bazaar here. This does not look like combo that we're playing against here. Ancestral Recall. I think I'm going to put a stop to that. Interesting that my opponent... Uh, I guess they were waiting for me to tap my Bazaar. I am not going to kill this thing here. I'd rather keep it in hand for, you know, if they decide to do a PO or something like that. So I'm not sure what we're playing against here. Uh, this has remnants of bug. But of course, this just could be combo of some sort. I mean, it's certainly not Doomsday because they don't run Mox Emerald. I don't think, uh, you know, I guess the question is when you're playing against bug is, you know, you definitely want Furies. And I also don't mind endurance, but the, the reality is, is I'm not sure what I'm actually playing against. I think I'm going to hedge a little bit. You know, if it's bug, like I have a very different plan, right? I, I bring in basics and things like that. My gut is telling me this is bug. I think I'm going to address it as it is bug. Like mind break traps are typically very poor. So is force of negation in general. I think chalice on the draw is not very good. I think there's a world where I could shave on force of vigor. I think I'll go down to two Furies, just because I'm not sure. I mean, all of these things that I have on my deck, even if this isn't Bug, are still reasonable. So what we're looking to avoid here is Leyline of the Void. Um, amongst other things. 
but ley line would be the worst for us here. Okay, so this is definitely combo. So we guessed wrong. Um, how much do I care about this? I think it's fine. So Flusterstorm does get us here. Um, but we, we have the counter here for this, so we're hopefully enough. All right, so that worked out pretty good. They've just conceded. Yeah, so we, we guessed a little bit wrong. Um, uh, I thought it was bug, but we made a gut call and did some changes that would reflect that and would be a lot poorer against combo. But uh, it ended up working out our opponent uh, mulliganed quite low and kept an all in hand on Tinker, which would have been very good had it resolved, but we had the answer. So please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, guys, and we'll see you for round three.